I've always really enjoyed playing here and um, I'm so glad that I got to win here last year because um, like going in like round after round it got more intense so <laughs> hopefully it's the same this year. I don't know, I just feel tight like playing here a little bit because of the defending thing. Um, that's just tough, you don't want to lose to a 15 year old, you know? Of course she deserves to be here, she played her matches and I just have to work harder. 50 unforced errors and it's not a long match there. I think that's the, the root of the problem. This is really tough for Naomi Osaka. All the talk, all the hype, all the pressure with her reputation, with what she's done in the game. Very difficult for her at this stage. She's an enigma. She just doesn't seem comfortable in the limelight and that's what she is. She just has to get more comfortable in the limelight where she is going to be for the rest of her career. There's no doubt Instagram Live has been a favorite during quarantine, which explains why Naomi Osaka started her very own player interview series on the app. My conversation skills aren't that great, but I'm trying. I'm trying to use this as like a tool to um, like practice. Two-time slam winner Naomi Osaka has been watching, as all of us have been, the racial justice protests taking place over the past several days in Minneapolis and elsewhere around the country. One of the posts that Naomi Osaka put out was the quote that if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And clearly for her, it's about standing for what she believes is right. Osaka is trying to find ways to deal with it, trying to find ways to use her voice to create some positive change. After my quarters match, I saw um, everything the NBA was doing and then I felt like I also needed to raise my voice too. I just feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing in this moment. You said from the beginning you had seven matches, seven masks, seven names. What was the message you wanted to send, Naomi? Um, well, what was the message that you got. I feel like the point is to make people start talking. Two years ago, when she won her first Grand Slam title here, she was almost a reluctant champion. She was very shy. She looked almost uncomfortable. I mean, it's amazing that was only two years ago. She's a completely different person now, obviously shaped so much by her beliefs and her confidence now to be outspoken on what she believes in.